All right, so for this one, uh, it says that a bar takes out a loan of 4000 and an annual effective rate of 6%, and that's starting at the end of the fifth year. So we have 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So starting at the end of the fifth year, that is when the loan is going to be repaid, which means that we're going to use 4 as our uh, comparison date for a possible uh, present value formula. So now that would mean that we don't know the number of years yet, but we do know that the effective rate is 6% and uh, payments are at X. And uh, since it's comparison date, one, two, three, four, so it's going to be discounted by four years. Now we just want to uh, calculate. So it says that each of which equals, okay, so now we know that this is 600. So we just need to calculate what N is. So what we're going to do is I'm going to first get rid of this by multiplying this by 1.06 to the 4. I'm going to do 4,000 times 1.06 to the 4, which is 5049.90. So now I'm going to do 5049. 5049.9784. Uh, which is the present value, 600 as the payment, 6 as the percentage, 0 as the future value, compute number of years. So, so uh, I'll do 4,000 times 1.0. And then we're going to divide by 600. Then we're going to get uh, 8.4165 as the present value, and as the payment, six as the number. Oh no, sorry. Everything wrong with my calculator. So yeah, so this is gonna be fifty four nine. So now I could set And I find that number of years is uh, 12.07, which means that I could set up a balloon payment equation where I could set it equal to 4,000 loan, equal to $600 payments. Um, so based on the definition of a balloon payment, I could start it with well, this is 6% discount by 4, since it's 4 years deferred, plus the balloon payment that I'm trying to find. The, so basically, there are 12.07 years, which means that I can make 11 normal payments of 600 and one more balloon payment that will be occurring at the next time period, which is at time 12. But this is also including the four years that also are deferred as well. So this becomes 16. So I'm going to solve this. I'm going to do 600 divided by 06 to the negative 4. So this is going to be uh, 754, this is going to be 757.486176, which is the payment, 11 as the number of years, 6 is the interest rate, 
4,000 as the present value. Let's compute future value. Or we could just solve this manually. I'm going to do 600 as payment of a number of years. Wait, zero as the future value. Compute present value. Yeah, then I'm going to do 12. Okay, so it's going to be 3748 minus 4,000, which is 251.71. Now, then V to the 16, so I'm going to multiply this by 6 to the 16. Yeah. I'm going to get 639.45 as the answer, so I'm going to make that choice B.